Yeah. Okay, and now for our semi main event, the Batman. I mean, dude, where 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 do we begin with this? First of all, yeah, that panel the, was great though. Yeah, that panel was great. Matt Reeves was very informative, but that mustache gotta go. <laughs> I, my brother was like, "Yo, is that Matt Reeves? That doesn't look like Matt Reeves at all." Anyways. Yeah, it definitely looks different. Uh, <laughs> quarantine mustache. Right. And uh, I had noticed Patterson had the quarantine beard. I was like, you might want to shave that before you go filming. I don't know, maybe. Anyways. I don't know, it looks pretty dope with the beard. <laughs> I know, like, yeah. I, hey, my favorite Batman, Ben Affleck, has a stubble, so I'm okay with it. He also had a he also had a beard during the, like, when he was fighting Aquaman or whatever. Right, yeah. exactly. So my favorite Batman yeah. has a beard, so, you know. The bat no stubble. Problem. Yeah, the bat, the bat beard. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, look, throughout the week I was speculating, okay, so they've probably shot like maybe 10, 20% of the movie. So I was like, okay, so they might show us 30 seconds of a teaser. Like, I would be like 30 to 45 seconds would be a lot for them to show. But then Matt Reeves talks about how they've shot 25 to 30% of the movie. And they're going to go back to filming soon. And he was like, hey, I got something for y'all. And boom, the man literally <laughs> just drops a two-minute, 30 seconds. A full-length we like, trailer. Right. We were like, hey, can we have 30 seconds of the teaser, please? And the man was like, nope, you're going to get two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, God bless you, Matt Reeves. Yeah, at the beginning of the thing, I was like, "Is this?" I think this is gonna be like a short little clip, but it kept going and going. And dude, I was completely blown away by this trailer. This was one of the best movie trailers in DC film, or maybe even film history. Like the Court of Owls are being hinted at the beginning with Riddler, with this riddle in the beginning, with. Pattinson showing up in a suit looking awesome. I mean, there's so much to break down from this trailer. Uh, yeah. Him meeting uh, Catwoman. Uh, and definitely my favorite part of the trailer was him uh, beating up that guy who asked, Oh my God. Who are you? <laughs> dude, that On 10, dude, that 11 to 10, that 10 to 11 seconds of uh, footage completely sold me and the rest of the trailer was like the icing on, on the cake like dude th- the precision of the hits like literally slapped him around beat him around and then he just punched him like a <laughs> and smashed him like a watermelon like i was like bro this is the batman and when he said i am vengeance i'm like that's it i'm sold pattinson's gonna be the goat batman like i was like i'm this is it yeah. for me I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Yeah. yeah. And you remember the last few seconds of the the trailer? What was that? Uh, the last few seconds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, when he took off his uh, cowl. Um, that, yeah. that what you're talking about? Yeah, when he took off his cowl and uh, uh, he was listening to somebody, right? I think he was listening to a Riddler, maybe. Or who was that? I'm not sure. Maybe it was uh, Gordon. I don't know. It sounded like... I'm not sure if he was listening to someone. I think it was just like in the background. Yeah, I'm currently... Because I downloaded the trailer on my phone. I'm currently watching the trailer. And I mean... the for, By the way, the Batmobile looks really awesome. Oh yeah, it does. And you know my, my running theory about this movie is... I don't think this takes place in the modern day for some reason. I, I get the feeling that this movie's taking place in the late 90s sometime in the 90s because if you look at the batmobile it's not like the tumbler right it, it looks like a didn't they ni- sales in the 90s i think they did right because yeah some people were like nah 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 this is gonna be in like the modern day because they're not connecting it to dcu but the if you look at the car that car is like a very 90s look for the car and n- nothing in this trailer says this movies taking place in current day like nothing says it's a very like grounded dirty look at gotham and the detective work like the beginning shots of the trailer uh, 
looks straight out of a uh, detective movie. And Batman showing up, looking at the riddles to the Batman. Uh, Bruce Wayne saving a guy. And did you notice uh, Colin Farrell in the trailer? No, who was he? Dude, you will not believe who Colin Farrell was. I didn't see him. What, who is he? he? He was in the trailer. He plays the penguin, right? He is the penguin in the trailer. The prosthetic work they did to his face. Whoa, they, wait, where? Let, let me send you the screenshot. The prosthetic work they did on his face. You, you couldn't even tell me that was Colin Farrell. Oh, wait, I think I see it. Holy shit, that's Colin Farrell? Dude, the makeup work they did on his face is unbelievable. That doesn't even look like him. If you look at the eyes, the eyes are the only thing that is kind Colin of. Farrell. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, his hairline is gone. <laughs> I know. Dude, I was like, this can't be it. And then I checked Twitter. Everybody's saying that is Penguin. Jesus. Ah, dude, it looks crazy. And dude... You remember that scene? A car crashes inside a party or something. Yeah, and, and then the guy Bruce, comes out with like the what, bomb. What? Yeah. To the Batman, they're calling him the Batman. And it oh, looks like God. the Riddler is the main antagonist in this film. Yeah, the Riddler looks like the main player, but yeah. I feel like the Court of Owls might be like the overall villains because you know this this movie's because they've only shot 30 percent of the movie so they they still have a lot to film but dude 30 sec the, like 30 percent of the movie and it's already this awesome imagine they filmed the rest of the movie this might be the best batman movie of all time yeah and one of my favorite moments of the trailer is the official reveal of the bat suit when jim gordon is like holding up a note that says to batman he's like does this mean anything to you and it shows oh my god it shows robert pattinson in the bat suit and it looks in fucking credible i love this suit it's awesome the cowl's awesome the emblem's awesome and he says it's like a year two suit so this is not even like like a like his uh finished suit yeah he's still working on it because it's only year two batman and yeah i cannot wait to see if like in the second one or third one he has like an upgraded suit but yeah this trailer yeah. like really dives deep into the the batman noir and the detective work because he's the world's greatest detective and now we're going to see batman finally being a detective right exactly I love that concept of him being a detective. And I love the collars on a suit. Like, it looks very nice for a Batman suit to have collars on. The cowl looks great. Definitely looks very menacing. Uh, the gadgets on his arm and his, like, wrist look very, like, techy. Like, I like that because Batman, obviously, is known for a lot of his tech, you know. So, it. Uh, you you notice the the wrist right like the I feel like the um you know the grappler I feel like is like attached to his wrist which makes a lot of sense it makes way more sense than Batman pulling out a grappling gun and that'd be cool yeah like it just being part of his wrist like yeah that makes total sense mm -hmm. maybe Matt Reeves has figured out something for the character which is awesome like Matt Reeves. So far, the Matt Reeves has done a great job showing everything he's shown us. So, yeah, okay, so we're talking about the last scene. It's like in, like, okay, so the last scene is, like, one guy saying, uh, uh, you're like, you're a part of this, and that, and someone else says, like, how am I a part of this? And the guy said, you'll see, and that's when it ends. So I'm not sure if Bruce Wayne's saying, how am I a part of this? And then maybe someone like the Riddler or maybe like someone in the Court of Owls or the Penguin says, you'll see. Right, like, exactly. How is he a part of this? Like, what's happening? Yeah, I'm wondering if, like, it's Court of Owls. Because, you know, uh, Court of Owls is, I feel, uh, I believe there, there are a lot of uh, rich people in there who want to maintain certain things in the city. Yeah. So maybe Bruce Wayne is somehow involved with, the court of owls well maybe. plus in the 
in the uh, comic book series from the Court of Owls, um, one of the guys, I, I, I'm not, I, forgot if he's a, I forgot if he's a leader or like the, one of the main ones, he claims to be Bruce Wayne's brother. Right, so I think this is like a Bruce Wayne connection going on. So yeah, it looks he like he is a part of that, and they were gonna they were gonna recruit Dick Grayson, but Batman got him first. Right, and I feel like this Batman is gonna put a click on every check mark. He's a detective. He's amazing combat. He's a very very savvy Bruce Wayne. I feel like this movie might be the perfect Batman movie. I mean, the movie is literally called The Batman. So yeah. this will be like the most definite look at the Batman. And all right, this is going to be the greatest. Uh, I, after that trailer, this is going to be the greatest bat, solo Batman movie of all time. Yeah. And OK, like uh, I like Christian Bale's Batman. OK, he's good. But his, the fighting scenes were not the best with him. Now, Ben Affleck's Batman, that fucking warehouse scene, oh my god, he kicked so much ass. So going into this one, I was like wondering, like, hopefully they carried some of that into this Batman to make him so kick-ass, to make him just so awesome and lethal with his hand-to-hand combat. And just that one scene, that one take of him just beating the fuck out of that guy. I was like, okay, yeah. We are in good hands. Matt Reeves know what the fuck he's doing. So I just cannot wait for this. Yeah, dude, I totally agree with you. The fight scenes are going to be phenomenal. I mean, when the when he was beating up the guy and like the last, the last two punches at the end where he's smashing his face... That reminded oh, yeah. me. That reminded me of the the warehouse fight where, uh, oh, Matt yeah. Black was just like ramming that guy in the face. And the guy the shot face. him in the head. Right. Uh, you remember that, right? And yeah. I was like, dude, B- Pattinson, you're gonna like make Bat Flack proud. Like, I know this isn't like the younger version of Bat Flack, but that one moment made me feel like, yeah. okay, we can pretend like maybe it is. Yeah. That'd be but cool yeah. if it is, but it's probably not. Probably not, because uh, like they it talked about in the DC fandom during the multiverse panel, like you know, this is definitely a separate universe. The Joker is 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 in a separate universe. The Batman is in a separate universe. Bat Flack is the part of the DCU Justice League universe. The multiverse this is, like, is. This is like the Bat Family universe. Right. Exactly. Like they're gonna probably have Jason Todd and Tim Drake in it soon. Right. And exactly. Dick Grayson. Yeah, like since he's in year two, we might see him recruit uh, Jason to the family or somebody. So, uh, some yeah, well, first he has to get uh, he first has to get Dick Grayson and then Jason Todd. Right, Dick or Jason, like yeah, he's gonna get the Bad Family to get. This trilogy is probably gonna spin off into the Bad Family movies. Like we're gonna see the Nightwing, yeah. Robin, Batgirl, all that stuff. I would love that so much. That would yeah. be amazing. And then we can finally get Batman under the red hood. I've been wanting a movie like that for ever. Dude, so true. And, you know, if the villains in this movie are popular, we might get, like, villain movies from this universe since, you know, oh, yeah. the Joker was so popular. Because, you know, Batman has some of the best villains. And a lot of his villains can have their own Dude, movie he has the it. best villains. Right, so... If if the villains of this movie are popular, we might get to see the actors portray like their origins. So yeah, I think yeah, definitely a great day for DC fans. Yeah. And finally, we gotta talk about the main attraction. I feel like this is the reason we're even here in the first place. Is the Zack Snyder's Justice League, the Zack Snyder's cut of his Justice League movie. I mean, we got to talk a little bit about where we came from. I mean, to get this movie was an absolute struggle. I mean, this literally this entire movie was taken away from Zack Snyder. Like the man, you know, obviously he had, you know, a very tragic thing happen in his family and 
the evil executives back then, not now, back then, took him off the project and injected the virus that is Joss Whedon's and his crappy directing and his crappy screenwriting. And completely along with Jeff Johns. Along with Jeff Johns, John Berg, they created this toxic environment where even the actors were uncomfortable. And they completely shunned Zack Snyder. People were mad at Zack Snyder for no reason. I mean, Zack Snyder was at the very bottom. Like the, He hit rock bottom back in 2017. And then this movement started. You know, the day this movie was released, you saw Fiona in the, in the fandom event. She was the first person out of any person that literally the day Justice League was released, because she's, I think, a reporter. She had the sources telling her there is absolutely a cut of Justice League that exists that is, has a different score, different cinematography, different everything. It's Zack Snyder's version of the movie. And then bloggers and media hacks who hate Zack Snyder came after her and started hating on her, telling her, you have no sources, you're fake news, blah, blah, blah. And then this movement happened. You know, people like me who are a big fan of Zack Snyder, who love Zack Snyder, who love Man of Steel, who love BBS, we decided that we're going to get this movie released. And a account named Mayher, uh, I forgot his full username, uh, he tweeted out the hashtag, release the Snyder Cut. And th- from that day forward, that hashtag just blew up. That He tweeted that hashtag in November of 2017. And, you know, it kept gaining momentum. You know, people came together. They started raising money for suicide prevention. They raised money to put billboards on Times Square at Comic-Con. They wrote letters to Warner Brothers. They they literally called Warner Brothers headquarters, every fan. Like, there was a lot of hard work to get this movie. Like, a lot of people don't understand. Like, a lot of these movies you guys are getting are pretty easy. Like, but we really had to struggle to get Zack Snyder's Justice League. Like, to get this movie was an actual struggle. And, you know, the day, like, it was November 2019 when, on the two-year anniversary of Justice League, the stars tweeted about Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Jason Momoa, uh, Ray Fisher started talking about this movie. And from there, it went like a wildfire. Release the Statica was trending number one worldwide for that entire day, that entire weekend. And then Warner Brothers called because by that time, Jeff Johns was gone. John Berg was gone. Joss Whedon was definitely gone after that, after the crap he did. The new management called Zack Snyder and was like, hey, would you like to release this movie on HBO Max? And from there on, he showed the movie to the executive, the new executives of, of uh, Warner Brothers. And they were like, how the heck did this movie not get released? And they were like, we're going to put down as, mon- as much money as you want, and we will release this movie on HBO Max in 2021. And they announced that release in 2021, uh, last May. And since then, the hype for the trailer has been growing and growing and growing. That We've had a couple of teases, but we finally got the trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Ziggler, I'm sorry for rambling, but I'm going to get to your opinion of this trailer. But for me, this trailer was very cathartic to see. Like, I love Zack Snyder. Like, he's one of my favorite directors of all time. And I love all his movies. He's just such a, he's a nice person and he makes some of the most visu- visually pleasing movies, some of the best thematically rich movies of any director. He's one of the best modern day directors we have. 
And he's one of the ni- he also happens to be one of the nicest people. He loves his fans. He talks to his fans, and he loves the support. And he he's just a great guy. Nobody talks bad about him. His actors, his crew members say he's like the best person they've worked with. And he, the man has been through the ringer, and he finally gets to finish his work and show us his version of the movie and uh he gets to redeem himself and finally we had zach freaking snyder's justice league trailer and the release in 2021 it's going to be absolutely amazing i mean the first shot literally it's dark side amazing cgi looks freaking awesome and then you had a shot of like post dark side world Amazing Zack Snyder cinematography. I love the aspect ratio. This aspect ratio on your 4K TV, Ziggler, is going to look mind-blowing on your big-ass 75-inch TV. Yeah, it's gonna look... I, watched, I watched the trailer on it like five times. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have so much fun on your TV with this. It's going to be. It's gonna look absolutely amazing. Right. And then you had to look at Iris West because obviously that was... One of the bigger uh, aspects of the movie that was gone, uh, you know, Barry Allen's story. You had, you know, Cyborg, literally the heart of the movie, Cyborg. You get you get to see so much of him in this trailer. He's a big part of the movie. He is literally the heart and soul of the movie. I mean, you get to see that emotional scenes with him seeing his dad sacrifice himself uh, with the mother box. You see Steppenwolf finally, the original Steppenwolf design. He looks so scary. And literally, when he's in battle mode, spikes are coming out of him. Like, that is so dope. I've, I've never seen something like that. Like, he's Steppenwolf, I feel like, is going to be way more awesome in this movie than he was in the movie we never talk about. Superman in black suit. Flash in the Speed Force. Uh, uh, I love this scene. Superman hugging uh, Lois Lane and uh, Martha. Like, I love this scene. I love. Uh, uh, I love um, Henry Cavill's Superman. Like, he's he's he does such an amazing job with the emotional aspect of the character. I love their relationship so much. Um, yeah, more. Flash running through the time, con- uh, space time continuum. And then, you know, I love the m- music as well. The Hallelujah playing. I love this music. Like, it's so awesome. I can't get the music out of my head. Amazing choice. Some people were like, not liking the music choice. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? Like, I don't care about anything. If Zack Snyder thinks this is the perfect yeah. music, then it is the perfect music, and I it love it. Was the, music. the perfect music because it's like, Hallelujah! It's finally here. Right, exactly. Like, who would have thought this day would come? Yeah, and then you had the shot of the league together. Oh my God, they look so good together with Superman in the black suit. It it just looks perfect. And that color correction too is not like red like it was like in the other movie. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Zack Snyder, he's he's a genius. He he's a great visual director and directing is a visual job. So when somebody says Zack Snyder is a great visual director, that means Zack Snyder is a great director, period. And I have a theory about this last shot. So you see there's a lot of space uh, between not between but uh on Aquaman's left side and Cyborg's right side. Uh, I have a theory that there is more people there because we know there is a certain Martian that's supposed to be fighting alongside them. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe uh, they save that space for some more characters to join them. My theory is it's going to be Martian Manhunter and Green Lantern, but that's just my theory. And don't say it's spoilers, but I'm just saying. And I love this last 15 seconds of the trailer. This is the Ben Affleck. This is the Batman. This was the Batfleck 
that Joss Whedon just would not get. Him just saying, I don't care how many demons he's fight, uh, he's fought in how many hells, he's never faced us, not us united. Like, that line gave me goosebumps. That right there, that is the Batman. He's so badass. That line delivery was beautiful. That speech is going to be beautiful. I cannot wait. Ben Affleck is back. Batflack is back. We're going to see him in 2021 and 2022. Oh, man, this, this, this trailer was perfect, man. Hallelujah. This trailer was absolutely amazing. Uh, I cannot wait to see this movie. This is the most anticipated movie of 2021. I mean, you know, The Batman is also my most anticipated movie, but, you know, The Batman is one thing, but the Zack Snyder's Justice League, we've been waiting for this movie. Yeah, we had to work for this. Right, exactly. We had to tweet. We had to call Warner Brothers. We had to do so much work for this. We've been waiting for this movie since... I believe 2016, because we were supposed to get it in 2017. We didn't get it. So we've been wait. So if 2021 hits, we've been waiting for this movie for five years now, pretty much. That, that's half a decade we've been waiting for this movie. And it's finally here. I'm so happy. I'm literally so happy. Ziggler, what are your thoughts on this trailer? And what of what are some of your favorite shots? Because there's so many amazing shots in this trailer. Yeah, it's crazy how these big corporations will just butcher your movie to the point to where it isn't even your vision anymore. And that's what they basically did in the 2017 Justice League. It was so bad. I was in denial at first when I saw it in the theater, and then I saw it again. I was like this is shit like and then i saw on everywhere like maybe like a few weeks or a month or maybe two after the initial one was released or released the snyder cut i read up all about it i was like holy shit release the goddamn snyder cut man i've been i've been with you on this thing man we had to work hard on this Zack snyder he's a he's a real visionary he visionary he uh Yes, he is one of the best comic book directors ever, I would say. I love Man of Steel. I loved Watchmen. I loved Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition. He, his comic book movies are so great visually, and it's, they're stunning. And he sticks, he sticks with the source material. And... Everything about this was fucked up. How Warner Brothers did this to him. So it's, it's, it's amazing and great how this is happening. I remember like, maybe it was like early this year or like late last year, I saw a thing like a high HBO or high Warner Brothers executive said like, the Snyder Cut is not real. It will never be released. So stop it. And then. It's happening, like, people at WB are, like, trying to shut us down, but we wouldn't take it. We wouldn't stand for it. We want the Saturn Cup to be released, and finally, after maybe three or four years, it's going to happen. We're going to get the Snyder Cut 2021, and we got, finally, this amazing, amazing trailer. And I'm going to say something because... I just realized the song Hallelujah is the same song that Zack Snyder used in the Watchmen sex scene with uh, Night Owl and Silk Spectre too, which is funny. That was one of the best sex scenes ever in a superhero movie. But yeah, the opening shot with Darkseid. I know the VFX, the visual effects are not done with him, but it still looks great. If it looks anything even remotely closer than the final product, it will look awesome. And it might look like iffy to some people. It might look like a video game for some people. But just know the visual effects are not done. Trust me, it's going to look awesome. And I love the new design for Steppenwolf. The Justice League design for Steppenwolf looked like a video game character. And same with the CGI. His CGI looked unfinished and ugly as hell. 
This Steppenwolf looks freaking sinister. He looks menacing, dude. He looks like he's going to fuck shit up. Uh, he's Dark Side's right hand man, and he looks like he's going to fuck shit up. And I love the shot. Like, it's like a quick shot. It's Superman in his black suit, like flying like towards Steppenwolf as he's jumping in the air, like they're going to fucking clash. It was. It's amazing. It's. And seeing Henry Cavill in his black suits a few times in this was awesome. And it looks like we're going to get him in the, in the black suit during the whole thing. Because even yeah. in the, the last shot of the Justice League, he's in his black suit and his black cape, I believe. So he might, at the end of it, after the battle, he's probably going to get his uh, his colors back. Because he feels that, he, yeah, that he's finally earned it after defeating, Dar- uh, after defeating Steppenwolf. And then if we get a part two, we can get fucking Dark Side, and I would love that. Now I am excited about Cyborg because Cyborg was one of my favorite characters in uh, the 2017 version, but again he wasn't fleshed out enough. He didn't they didn't really do anything with him. We didn't really get his good origin. Ray Fisher played him so well though that I immediately liked him. Like, even though Joss Whedon ruined the whole thing, Ray Fisher's such a good actor that I completely bought into this character. I loved him. He was awesome. And now we get to see more of him. Zack Snyder saying he's the heart and soul of this movie. I cannot wait to explore his origins. I cannot wait to explore everything with him. And we're going get to get to see more of the Flash. And during his panel, Zack Snyder said without spoiling anything, that he's going to do something that involves time, with time. So we see he's in in the Speed Force in this trailer, and of course, remember Batman v Superman, he traveled back in time to Bruce Wayne, saying, did he say Lois Lane or Martha? He said it's the key. I think it was Lois Lane. He said Lois Lane is the key or whatever. And that's probably going to add to that's probably going to be in there. And then seeing also here um, one of the shots to uh, Ray Fisher's uh, Victor Stone's father uh, dying from the mother box was, even though it was like you couldn't hear anything, couldn't see anything, Ray Fisher's performance in that one little scene was great. And it was it was emotional too. It, it was like that five-second little clip, the it was his performance was just great, and I think he was the perfect person to play Cyborg. And yeah, every part of this trailer is a hundred million times better than the whole 2017 movie, and it's crazy how much they butchered this whole movie and they destroyed Zack Snyder's genius vision. And the trailer for this movie already has 1.3 million views. It's probably going to hit a lot more tomorrow in the upcoming week. And this just shows you how much Zack Snyder's Justice League means to everyone. Like, we fucking did yeah, it. About, about 500,000 of those are probably me, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, me too. I watched this so many times on my TV. Um... Same with the Batman. Uh, But yeah, I just cannot wait for this. I cannot wait to see Darkseid in his full Finnish VFX. Cannot wait to see that. Steppenwolf looks awesome. And just, yeah, I hope we're going to see either Hal Jordan's Green Lantern or Martian Manhunter. Maybe both. That'd be awesome. Uh, But yeah, I just, I mean, this is everything we wanted for a long time, and we're finally getting it. It's been a struggle, and we feel with Zack Snyder, what w- what WB did to him was awful. How they handled him, it was just horrible, and Zack Snyder really deserves this. He really deserves to have his vision shared with everyone, and we're finally getting that. Four hours, one hour for each episode. 
and it's I mean, I'm not a big fan of the miniseries thing, but you know, I'll but Zack Snyder said that he's gonna try to like make it like you can just watch it like in one sitting, like one movie. So that'd be cool. And I would also love to have this like a like a limited release in theaters because this movie deserves to be seen on an IMAX screen, without a doubt. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And yeah, it's just been a great ride. And I've I have a feeling like the trailers uh, creating this much buzz. The movie, I'm pretty sure is gonna be one of the best like CBMs of all time. I mean, I'm hoping this crew comes back and we get a sequel. I mean, if 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 we want to get a sequel, it all depends on y'all watching the movie without pirating it. So subscribe to HBO Max when the Snyder Cut is released. Watch all episodes and then watch the whole movie when it's released as a single movie. Uh, I believe it's going to be released as a single movie after the episodes are released. And obviously you can watch the episodes back to back to back. Um, and, and if it hits the theaters thing. locally, go to it. Go watch it, yeah. And if it and if it gets on 4K or Blu-ray, fucking buy it. Exactly. We're getting a second one. I, I can feel it. We're getting a second one. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely gonna buy the Blu-ray because I have the Man of Steel and BVS Blu-ray. Oh yeah. Got to got to finish the collection, baby. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hallelujah. Hello, fucking Eula. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I'm so happy for Zach. I'm so happy for the Snyder family. Uh, you guys deserve it. I mean, we're just going to support y'all, but yeah, you guys definitely deserve it. It's uh, way bigger than a movie. It's a movement and uh, yeah, finally getting some justice for Zack Snyder. Yeah. This is history fitting. in the making. It's fitting for the movie as well. Hell yeah. Yeah. So yeah, with that, I know that went on for pretty long, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the breakdown of a DC fandom. We definitely enjoyed talking about it. We we enjoyed watching it. Uh, it was definitely one of the greatest days as a DC slash comic book slash just in just a fan of these characters and uh, the source material. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, do all that good stuff for us. Ziegler, any last words? Yeah, today's been fucking crazy. So. <laughs> Yeah. It's been one of the best days for comic book movies. Yep, very true. And with that, we're out. Hit that outro. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed that video and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And click on the channel to check out some more awesome videos like our movie and wrestling debates and our interviews with people like the wrestling classic and Jordan Jomo from the IGWC. And we are definitely looking into delivering you all some more content in the near future so definitely be on the lookout for that and thank you for your support